Ah, <laughs> oh, the flags fell over. Do you know how long I sat here trying to get the flag to balance? Do you understand that if you don't load back into absolute perfection, the flag falls over? I stood here for like 10 minutes getting both flags to stand. It happens. No, I grabbed it. No. It was going to stand. Well, now no one's going to believe me until I do it, so I'm going to have to sit here and make some coffee so I don't die. Just kidding, you can't make coffee. You can only purchase it. Where is the local Tim Hortons anyways? <gasps> I told you. I told you. I told you it could stand. Oh. <sighs> All right, so I'm trying to save up for the new bunker one day. One day I will. Today, maybe. I got some money-making ideas. I can't tell you yet. It's top secret. Needless to say, things are going pretty good. We got a few schemes that we're, we're gonna we're gonna run. One scheme for later, but I'll give you a sneak peek. What the? I swear, I swear I had more, more than three radios. Where did they go? Oh, all right. Well, imagine I opened this. And those were in... Why do I have a flashlight out? It's the middle of the day. You guys want to see? Yeah, a little more impressive now, huh? Not impressive enough? All right, fine, I'll get more. So we're going to take all these old rusty parts that we've replaced, and we're going to go salvage them. The cleanest and least cancelable thing that we will do today to make money. I'm going to say no to the bolts. I don't want to... Maybe I just lost my card on not getting cancelled. YouTuber doesn't recycle? YouTuber against recycling says it's too much work and effort? Gasp. Oh no. I caught some of it. Okay. Uh, I knew there was a bump later I had to be careful of. I just didn't realize there was going to be one this fast. I gotta make sure I pick it all up. Someone will literally call someone on me. These parts blend in with the ground. This is money. I don't want to throw this stuff on the ground. I'm all for save the planet and all that, as long as it comes with consumers purchasing things like new vehicles and sustainable energy units and, you know, whatever else we can come up with. <laughs> Big business doesn't need to switch to any more eco-efficient ships or trucks no that costs us money silly so do i put this in here and then call you and then get how do when do i get the money i am gonna get money for this right this isn't a scam is it just a sign on the side of a bin doesn't look very professionally made oh, okay we got 134 kilos of stuff in there <laughs> and if it's the stuff i'm talking about we're gonna be rich a little bit of platinum in there that's, that's what i'm referring to 186 kilograms 19 pieces 372 dollars and i didn't even have to call anybody now the next part is we're gonna steal some radios all right fess up who's hiding all the radios someone beat me to it oh oh i see one give me that freaking there we go i mean it's not really stealing because these are junk cars. However, it is kind of stealing because I'm not going to pay for any of it. This is a dangerous radio. We risk getting stuck. I think I've picked it clean. We've got a good little pile on top of the ones that I've already got. Oh, you don't like this pile? You don't think this is a lot of radios? Huh? Not impressed, huh? Oh, I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> this was supposed to be a lot cooler. How about now? <laughs> Look at my pile of extra radios I had over here. I have radios everywhere. Every time you scoff at my radio amount, I pull more out. Oh, little guy was trying to kill me under there. What you doing under the brake pedal, huh? Let that be a lesson to the rest of you in there. I will chug the whole damn bottle. If you ever try to mess with me and my business, 
You'll mess with the way a man puts food on his table. You gonna go up to a lion and mess with what he's eating? Don't be messing with how I'm eating. All right, all right, ready? Ready? How about now? <laughs> Wanna buy a radio? I'm all out of watches. All right, now the next step may seem a little counterintuitive to the rest of you. That's why you're not a top G like me. You gotta spend money to make money, all right? That's why you buy the course and then you can sell the course. It is totally not a pyramid scheme, but I'll give you the course for free because I'm feeling, feeling generous. You know, I've got enough Bugattis in my garage, so. <laughs> it's kind of fun to talk like him, I'm not gonna lie. Good Halloween idea if you're bald. Now yeah, you can get a bald cap. It's okay, if you have hair still, don't worry. You gotta spend money to make money. You might be asking yourself, how is this gonna make you money? Just give me a, just give me a bit. You'll see. If you're gonna get in with the barn mafia, you gotta have a secondary place. Haven't you watched Breaking Bad? This is our RV, minus, minus the wheels. We now own this beautiful cottage. Comes with a dock, swimming area. Look, town's right over there. We're gonna be able to do good things here. Just the stuff I was looking for. Now this doesn't make us any money, but this is just what I call perks of being a top G. They'll never find us here. We could do all the shady deals we want and they'll never find us. We just gotta play the real estate game, that's what it is. Nothing, nothing shady going on beyond that. So we've got our money-making property now. It's gonna make us money in more ways than one. Numerous streams of generated income. That's what we've just created with that one purchase. Might be a $5,000 setback for now, but come Sunday, we'll make that right back. It'll also be a networking opportunity that'll open new doors. You wait. We're gonna do very great and very illegal things out of that cottage. Oh my God, the bunny. Did I just, is it okay? I tried to stop it. You saw it came out of nowhere. Was I going a little fast? Sure, but speed limits don't apply to top G's. The rabbit should have known that I was the alpha coming through and it was its turn to bow down to me and allow me to pass. The only way nature learns is from mistakes. And a mistake was made today and it wasn't by me. That's the top G mentality. So in true top G fashion, we go out, we spend some money, we come home, we play harder. Work harder, play, work, work less, play harder. Let your money work, you do the playing. There's a saying in there, I just gotta work it out. It'll be in my next TED talk. I did find all the buggy parts. You are correct. It is finally ready, kind of. Oh, oh I was gonna say it has gas. I don't think it has gas. We do not have much gas. So I don't know how, uh, far we should wander. <laughs> Can we make it to town on that? Should we find out? Being wrong will be very bad. I wonder if we can carry one and then sit on one. Can we like shove one down here? All right, fire it up. How much gas do we have? Nobody knows. Oh, I'm, I'm holding one of these. <laughs> This thing is going to run out of gas on the way. Where is my fuel? <laughs> there is none. All right. We just got to get close enough that it, I can walk. That's the, that's the secret. Also, the secret is not dying, apparently, because this thing is fast. It is also very agile, but I do not trust it. It's trying to kill me. It is a good thing I did not try, trust it at all. This is the kind of vehicle that's trying to kill you. Oh my gosh, it is so fast. Either that or just feels really fast. We're gonna find out on the straightaway here just how fast it is though. Holy. This thing is 
is dangerous. Do I still have the other gas can? Do I still have the maple syrup? Probably not. That's right, boys. I showed up with a new to- Oh, they've already gone home? Oh, come on. Well, it's okay. At least I'm, I'm allowed to get gas when they're gone, so that's good news. All right. This seems like a very good way to uh, get yourself- <laughs> Light yourself on fire, but, um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta hold this one. Uh-oh. All right, looks like we're gonna drive home cinematic view. Oh, no. It looks like no one's driving it. That's not, that's not ideal. Oh, and those cars just disappeared. Also not ideal. The noise. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. The noises that this thing makes is insane. Oh, did I just see a spark? Oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> what is this blue smoke coming out of the Oh my god. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to get a view on the, <laughs> on the sparks. <laughs> oh my gosh, this thing should not be driven off road. This thing is dangerous. And I love it. And for the first time ever, it can now be parked in the garage. Look at that trusty gas getter. You've heard of a grocery getter, but have you ever heard of a gas getter? Speaking of gas, does this thing have gas? You know what? Before we do that, I don't think I have any coffee, which is not good. <laughs> I forgot about the lights. There's no way I'm already tired. It's like what? Nine o'clock? The things you gotta do when you run illegal businesses. Damn, driving on these roads at night is even sketchier than during the day. Who would have thought? Probably anybody with a brain. Confirmed, I have no brain. Come on, maple syrup has sugar in it, right? If I drink a little bit of that, I'll be wired for at least another hour, right? What do you say? Okay, I'm not looking for you guys, because I uh, haven't upgraded anything. Yes. Just the man I was looking for. I have to be really quick, sir. I uh, have way too many radios here for you. Do I just... Okay, just like that. All right, we go. One, two, three, four. Buckle my shoe. Take some more. Oh, no, we are not gonna... This is not good. I know I told you to meet me here, but... If I pass out, could you take me home? You know what? Where's my maple syrup? Maybe this will wake me up. Nope, didn't do anything. Got a $5,000 cottage to pay for. I don't have time for sleep. Sleep is for the weak. I don't have time to make it home at this point either, so I might as well just try to get as much money as I can. And hope no one steals my car. I knew I shouldn't have woke up at 5 o'clock this morning. Wait, what is this drunk? <laughs> oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. <laughs> this guy's got one too many radios going on right now. You, sir, hopefully don't get pulled over. If you do, that's, that's okay. <laughs> nice, thanks. How can a woman... Excuse me? I'm a woman? Have I just been told my identity in 2022? I think that's illegal, sir. Well, what we're doing probably isn't the most legal.